Good morning. What are you doing? Uh, everything's 50 cents a piece, mm -hmm. except for the party dresses here. This one here I don't need to go.
don't like the price, you can always make an offer. I'll give you a price for this one, you Sold. I just wanted to make sure. Hey, okay, hitting up an estate sale. I know, I'm back for more. Can I go in? Yeah, yep. half price in there. Oh, That's thank you. I was just coming to tell you. Oh. Oh. I want to go see if the stuff. Hi again. Hello. Oh. I was hoping that some of these uh, Christmas pieces were on sale. Oh, yes. How much are they going to be a piece? So they're going to be 10 and nothing much. What if I bought, if I bought, if I bought a, a quite a few of them, can you do $7 a piece if I bought a few of them? Yeah. There's ten. So if I if I took everything from here over, so I would like I would like oh these those. Well, probably take her too, just because she's 
she should go with the group. So I've got um, eight. So $56. Oh, sorry. Nine, or it's nine. One, two, three, four. Oh, not the guy down there? No, not the guy down there. I don't think he's even the buyer's choice. I don't think this one is either, but he's really cute. Sure. So you're saying you don't want that one? No. Buyer's choice. Oh, yeah, those are, yes. Mm -hmm. If you buy them all $7 a piece? Yeah. If you buy all of them $7 a piece? All of those. All of them. Oh, I don't need all of them. Um, hmm. It's not what you're saying isn't in my mind. 11. So that would be $77 if you buy them all. Otherwise, you're asking for... I'm, just, I'm curious of what this is. He, I mean, he might be a buyer's choice, but he just, he, something looks different about him. I don't know why. And that makes me curious about these two. No, see, that's not a buyer's choice. No, that would not be, definitely not be. And I have a feeling this is one of those. Okay. So, if, okay. So if I took, how about, how about $8 a piece and okay. I'll take those. Okay. So I've got seven of them. Okay. So fifty six dollars. Okay. Are we good? Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Um, I'll just I'll grab them on my way out if that's okay, okay with you. Would you like me to pay you right now for those? Or you want um, me to wait till I'm done? Yeah, you can wait. Till you're okay. Ready. So good. We agreed on those. Perfect. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And they're with the ones you wanted. Or yes. Are they I, these. Right? Are they correct? Yes. These are all. These are all perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So I paid eight dollars a piece, and I got seven of them for fifty six dollars. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And they have a lot of candles here. I probably, I'm probably going to grab some candles too. <clears throat> All right. So I did grab some buyer's choice. Um, I'm going to look through the clothes and see if there's any, oh, that's pretty. Look how pretty this is. I like the little green crystals on this. That's adorable. It's really cute. Okay. Outer Banks. That's kind of nice too. It's orange though. It's very bright. I don't know if that would be um, something great or not. What about these? Those are uh, sweaters. I don't think the clothes are, no, I don't think the clothes are speaking to me. So in that case, we'll, okay. Oh yeah, in in Williamsburg, you there's a you see a lot. There's a lot it's of collectors. A, yeah, yeah, there, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, nope, I would completely agree with that. All right, tell you go Christmas things. Is this going to be your last day? Or are you guys doing another weekend? I think this is going to be the last day. We might just post some of the individual pieces. And you guys are selling the house too, right? It will be for sale. You, yes, you guys are going to do really well. This is a nice house. It's so nicely kept. Yeah. It's a really nice layout. It is. It's open like it's open where it needs to be open, and then you've got little nooks. That's kind of cool. The, yeah. na the neighborhood looks nice, so. Yes, my mom was here. I think about two years. She was just here last I like these little milk glass. I'll get these. Little, I'll take these little glass plates too. I'm gonna send send them over here though. Sure. 
great aunt handed it down to my mother, so probably about 1940s. Oh, wow. Did, did your mom pass? I'm sorry. See this little guy? Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I was, there's another room back there, too. Oh, he's adorable. How much is your little snowman guy? There's nothing on it. No. $3? Oh, yeah, I'll take him. Over here. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go check this back here. Oh, we have another room. Mm. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? We'll probably take a candle too. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, I'm gonna take a candle too. I knew I was gonna grab candles. Okay. Emerald fur. Oh, heck yeah. That's going to go. I'm going to have a huge, a lot of candles this year, Carl. Okay, good. They're brand new. You can use them for Christmas, right? That's what we do. That's, you know, he, that's exactly what happened. So he already knew that. In fact, here's some more of them. I probably should grab them. Red currant. Oh, that's nice too. Wow. And, oh, another emerald fur. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to take all of them. You said they're half off anyway, right? Yeah, I'm just going to take them. All right. A little pink room pear. Oh, that's cute. A little Thanksgiving girl. <laughs> Carl, Carl's shopping with me. I didn't even see that. Absolutely. I think I am done. I'm going to go ahead and get All check right. checked out over there. Ready. Yep. All right. Oh, these are actually Crocs. Interesting. What are these right here? What are those? I cannot read them. Huh. They're pretty though. I love the color. I'm gonna put these in the cart and I'll figure those out. familiar. Oh, these are white mounds. Oh, I do like them. Oh, those are really cute. Comfort. What are these? Johnston and Murphy's. They actually look pretty good. Let me see if I can find the other one of those. Well, 
got one. I guess some Merrells and some Skechers. Hmm. Oh, what are those? Nope. These are actually sass, but they're they're pretty worn. So Karen, Karen Scott. Um, those are pretty worn. Well, so far I got one. I got one. Huh. Well, it's not fun when that happens because it does not mean that I will find the other one. <laughs> you guys, will, you guys will probably spot it and be screaming at the screen, and I'll never, and I'll never find it. It does happen that way. <laughs> okay, well, we got one. We'll we'll look for the other one. Okay, let's start right over here. And all the little wallets and the toiletry bags. This is Rachel Zoe. I know this is a little sports sack, but it's really worn because it was here. It was here last time too. So let's see what we have down here. Oh, this is a Lancome. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a Ralph Lauren wallet. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, it just needs a little bit of a cleanup, but um, the. Uh, accessory piece, it should still be $1.99 here. This looks like a Brighton. I thought it was. Nope, it's not a Brighton. I thought it was, and it's not a Brighton. Okay. So then we'll just keep on looking. We got Pantene, Bagolini, Old Navy. We got Victoria's Secrets. We have a Vera Bradley. I don't know if that's going to be worth $1.99 or not, though. Vera Bradley can be a, a hard one. But we got a bunch down here that we'll, we'll make sure we check out. That's... What is this? This feels nice. Don't know what it is, but it feels nice. Top 10. Hmm. I'm gonna take this, it's got a nice strap in there. It's not a brand um, I'm familiar with, so it's something I'll have to I'll have to look look up. That looks like a um, definitely doesn't feel like a coach, even though it kind of looks like one. Got a little um, like a credit card thing. Well, we got to go through the accessories. I don't think there's anything in there that we're gonna take. I'm gonna look in the top one though, just to see if they put anything up here. I'm gonna put these in the cart though. Well, what is this right here? Made in Italy for something, I don't know, but it, it's it's a little it's a little worn. So I think we'll put that back and I, I see the Michi the Mitchie cover, but let's go through the purses here. They've been putting out some really cute stuff lately. So you never know what you're gonna find. Oh, what is this? This has like a purse organizer thing in it, but it's, it's not my favorite. So we'll put that one back. Cynthia Rally. What about this little pink guy? Oh, that's a Liz Claiborne. A lot of pink here. I bet you somebody must have dropped off all their pink stuff. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Got an Ann Klein. We do have a few things that look a lot alike, so I don't know if a store dropped things off or 
What happened? Yeah, music is a little loud, so Mr. Carl will have to do something about that. I can hear my phone beeping in my pocket. Oh, no, it's just my message thing. All right, perfect. This is pretty. I love, I always love when I see these type of braided handles. I don't know. Oh, it's Talbot's. You know what? It is really pretty. And you know what's nice about this is, is yes, it only comes, it's just a, um, a bag one. It does feel like it's leather, but more so you could easily add a crossbody strap to this and it is, it is clean. I think it's leather. I'm not positive though. So let me see what it says. Yeah, it is, it's leather. So I'm gonna grab that for $7.99, absolutely. That's, that's a pretty easy one. So yep, Talbot's for $7.99 when it's leather. Yeah, I can do that. It might not sell very quick, but it's a good color and it's clean. So that's my logic. That definitely doesn't feel like leather of any kind. This looks like it would be, um, oh, this is a Tignanello. I won't buy Tignanellos anymore. Every time I buy those, I found that if they sit in my storage unit, they do not do very well. Here's a bouquet, um, but it's just the, um, it's just the fabric one, so I'm not gonna grab that. If it was a leather one, I would take it. What is this one right here? Oh, this is a little fossil. Let me see what it, take a better, closer look at it. All right, so this is a little fossil. It's very cute. What's it, black inside, so it's not gonna be a problem. It's got little leather brown trims, adjustable strap gold hardware yeah I think this could I think this one will do well too so we'll we'll take the little fossil got a lot of little black crossbodies over here quite a few definitely not some of them definitely are not leather we are gonna just go and go down here and see which ones we can find. This is kind of a cute piece, Liz Claiborne. Okay. Whoops, sorry, almost took took myself out there. What is this one right here? Poli Policio, that's pretty. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, this is an interesting one. Look at the clasp on this. You have to uh, put the put that on there and then close it like that. The strap is pretty worn on it, even and, and the hardware. This is very neat. I love the mock croc on it, but I think because of the the strap being so worn and the um, the hardware is really is discolored, I think I'm gonna leave that. But that was kind of a neat one. And this one caught my eye because I saw the nice bright color. So who makes this guy? This almost looks like a Dior knockoff. Deep. Ooh, the bottom is bad on that. Yeah, that's not pretty at all. Okay, well, we'll put that back. And what about this? Got some fur going there. <laughs> not real, I promise you, not real. <laughs> Okay. What is this big guy back here? This caught my attention. It's got kind of an, an interesting print on it. Definitely worn, very, not very well made. It doesn't, it doesn't feel very well made either. Pretty colors though. So let's put that up there so people can see that one. All right, let's go ahead and, um, Let's go through the shoes and see if we can find something. I do see lots of, uh, 
These are actually Lucky Brand. I don't know if those are men's or women. This almost looks like one of those drop-off pairs where they, um, where the store, you know, has extra stuff and they just drop it off. I'm still not liking, it's got like one spot right there, but just, it's throwing me off. So I'm going to put those back. Okay. These are, I picked these up last time, these fences, but they're, they are kind of cute though. I might, I might try to clean these up. I'll think about that. I might grab those. All right. Artipel. Italian. they're kind of a cork. They have a little red stuff in on the inside. Oh, they even have a little shoe chart. You know what? We'll put these in. We'll look. Okay. Let's see what those are down there. Oh, these are sass. You know what? Those are pretty. Those might do well. They're an eight wide. Let me see. I just got to check to see what the straps look like on these. I don't know. They're, they're really, really bent out of shape. I think I'm going to leave them just because of that. Lots of grasshoppers. One state. Okay, I have seen this brand before. I'm gonna put these in the cart and look them up and see if this one is any good because I've seen this before. Okay. And I know the chu the chukas aren't any good, but the hunters are. Oh, these are pretty. Now, what are these going to be? Oh, these are one of these generic pairs. I lifted them up, and they're super light. So that is going to be one of those no-namer type of pairs. What about down here? Universal threads. Okay. And what about these brown ones? These are... Oh, these are... These are made by Patagonia. Um, they're not bad. They're meant to be distressed. I'm going to put these in the cart and check. I've never actually sold a pair of Patagonia shoes. So I'm going to put these in. We're going to see what they look like. These definitely look like a... Don't feel very good though. They're cute, but they don't feel very good. And then we have some Clarks. What about these red ones right here? Flexus. Okay. Got some bear traps. We got some sloggers. What are these right here? Ortholite. Croft, Croft and Barrow. I didn't realize that um, Croft and Barrow made a, oh, these are Sperry's. These are little wedges. Those are really cute, but I don't trust the whole Sperry thing. <clears throat> Unless you get them for a dollar or two, I just don't think I'm going there. I love these though. These are really cute. I wonder who makes these. Oh, Target. They're universal threads. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
These are Cole Hans. I recognize the Grand. Those have got some dirt on them. They would probably come clean though. They just have a little dirt on the on the front. They're kind of like a lightweight, but they're like more of a dressy tennis shoe. These probably would come clean. I just have to figure out if I want to do, if I want to do that much work. And I'm going to leave them for right now. I might come back and grab those, but like I said, it would, I would have to do some work. Oh, look at the little, look at the little bitty Keens. Oh, children, these are only $3.99. You know what? These are a little kid shoe. They're probably not worn very much. I think for $3.99, I might grab the little bitty guy's shoes. I sell a lot of Keens, but um, not usually the little ones. But for that price, $3.99, I think I can do it. <clears throat> and yeah, I am I am still looking for the shoe, the shoe that I am missing here. And I know at this point, you guys have probably seen it. I didn't, I have not seen it. Hmm. What are these? Oh, they're Skechers. Okay. I think I have one more rack over here I didn't go through because it was crowded. So I'm going to head over on that one. Oh, these are cute. The Vince Camutos. American Eagle. It's harder to via Spigas, Kim Rogers. Okay, well, I don't see anything there. What about on this side? What about these? Chinese laundry. They're cute. Okay, we got some, oh, these are how about these Dolce Vitas right here? And the bottoms don't even look like they were worn. I'm trying to figure it out though, because the tops look worn and look at the bottoms. They maybe are supposed to look like that. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm gonna put them back just because if I can't tell, I. I really don't want to find out that someone else thinks there's something wrong with them. There's Roka wear. Oh, these are pretty. What are those? Oh yeah, these are perfect. These are Sesto Mayuchis. I buy these all the time. Very good sellers, very expensive brands. So yep, these are winner winner right there. These are good ones. Definitely good ones. I'm looking to see if they dropped off any other. Oh, here, these are Mephistos. I know the Mephisto sandals sell really good. I don't know if the Mephisto shoes do. These are pretty worn. They're a, um, a leather and a suede. I think I'm gonna put those back. If they were sandals, I would absolutely grab them and I would clean them up. Um, these are all these are Aldos, just because I, I know the Mephistos um, sell well. But uh, I don't want to do that much, that much cleaning. But definitely, definitely these. These are, these are beautiful. Very happy with those. I don't even know what size they are. Oops, they're actually size 10. Okay, so that's, that's a good size too. So there you go. So I do have a couple pairs of shoes in here. And I will check for damage and all that a, li a little bit later. But I just want to do one last look over here. Oh, these Merrells are really cute. These are like the little Mary Janes. They got a lot of fuzzies in the back though. The strings are coming off. So I'm gonna put those back up there. What are these? These almost look like Doc Martens. They have kind of a different feel to them. Who makes them? Okay, so they're European because they're they're a size 39. It's an interesting feeling shoe. 
Oh wait, what does that say? Protection system. Oil grip resistant. Hmm. Okay, well, I still don't know what they are. So I guess we'll put them back, but they're, they're very cute. I like the colors of them. Rocket dog. Okay, let's go look in the back, see what else we can find. Those are pretty. Italy, Italy. Oh, that's cute. Humanoid. I like that. Pretty color, too. I think I'll take that one and put it in the cart. <clears throat> Nanette Lepore. Here's a Bowden dress. Bowden, Bowden used to do really well. You know what, I'll put that in the cart too. It's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. <clears throat> no, I know it's not gonna be, a, this is not a good seller, but that's very pretty. Max Studio, it's very sheer. Oh. Here's a good one. Here's a Sundance. These are great fall colors. It is, this is definitely small for a size large though, but um, I will put it in the cart and take a look at it though. I actually just, um, I saved a couple pair of the boots for myself and I did keep a pair of Sundance boots that I really liked. So, oh, here's an Eileen Fisher. Here's a Petite. I don't like these types just because they usually have a pull in them and I will probably not see it. So I will have to skip on that Eileen Fisher, which normally I would not. Um, but when it, they're sheer like that, it's, it's so easy to miss something. And if I miss it, then it's, it's gonna get sent back. at this one too. I, I feel like we found some really nice stuff on that one. So I should probably check this one too. It is time to, for those um, winter brands to, to start um, you know, start selling. So I've noticed people are starting to grab that stuff in my, in my eBay store. So it is, it is coming, even if you're not ready for it. Oh, look at this. They have a little shoe, a little shoe rack. This is new. They didn't used to have this right here. And some Clarks. I'm not seeing anything I want though. We'll go ahead and let's head to the back then. See what else we can find. Oh, we have another rack right here. We'll stop and check this one out. That's cute, that's cute. Oh, we have a pair of Harley jeans. Those might do okay. Oh, they're, they're, all, they're all ripped up at the bottom, so we will pass on those. We do have a pair of Carhartt jeans here also as well. You know what, these are, these look like they might, 36s. These actually don't look bad. These are a pair of Carhartt Carpenter jeans. They're a little baggier. I'm gonna put those in too. Those might be okay. So it looks like we probably have a men's, oh, there's a North Face hoodie. That one's pretty. I like that. I'll put that one in my thing. Nautica. Oh, wait, what size is this one? 
don't know if Mr. Carl, I don't think Mr. Carl could get into that. Nope, I don't think so. Did grab a couple of things off there. Let's go ahead and look in these carts over here. Got some light bulbs. Um, that's missing the battery, but it, I, I don't trust those when they're like that. So we'll leave that one. We'll put that in baskets back. I don't see anything down the bottom. They do have some shoes down there. Is that one right there? No, I think we're gonna leave that one too. Let's try the next one. I'm surprised they are putting the the um, shoes the shoes down here on these racks. I'm not used to seeing that. Oh, these are cute, but they're. They're frayed at the back, the L.L. Bean ones. What are those? Old navies. Even the old navies are looking like the Rothies now. Now what are these? I think these are a generic pair. Gosh, they're so light. All these pairs that they're bringing out now, they're just light. Okay. These are Mephistos too. Those have got a lot of wear on that heel area. Okay, what about these? Snow cap. These are Michael Kors. Oh, those aren't comfortable. They have like a wood bottom. Those are those are really stiff. These look like old Nordstroms. They hope oh, they are old Nordstroms, okay. Well, let's go around to the next one. Nope, none of those. Excuse me. You said the build of cars. Oh, Christmas story socks. Yeah, those might need to go with us. Hmm. All right, let's hit the next cart. Don't see anything in the pans. No. Bach, Beethoven, and Mozart. What are these? Oh, these are clogs. Clogs, they don't sell as well as some of the other brands. I'm gonna leave those, but what are these? Oh, these are, nah, I don't like the fabric, the fabric on those. What are these down here? Universal threads, okay. That's pretty. What's that 
say at the bottom? Oh, this is actually Vilroy and Bach. I don't think it's, I don't think it is um, glowy glass, but it looks like it might be. I'm gonna, for $1.99, I think I'll take that. We're gonna take that for $1.99. I'm going to move this up here. I would like to see that's trans pack right there. It's got some cover stuff. Okay. I do want to go down that aisle, but <clears throat> I think there's a lot of people on it, so I'm going to wait. Oh, look at the cute little Easter ones. Those are cute. They've got duckies and bunnies. I don't know who makes them. They are cute, though. We do have the, the big Hershey's mugs. Okay. This looks like the Revere wear. Oh, and it's a copper bottom. And you know, you know what? This one's actually pretty pretty clean. And I think this might actually be one of the older ones. So do I want to clean do I want to clean it? It's just the bottom is not that bad. It just needs a little bit of um, a Brillo pad I would I would say. You know what? I think I'm gonna pass on cleaning anything. I've got so many, so much stuff to list. The less I have to do, probably the better. Marco Polo, those are kind of very modern with the brown. Well, I didn't grab anything there. Pretty. I think those are, I think they're pomegranates, maybe, maybe. Oh, Santa's really cute. He's just a little sitter. Cute. Oh, what are these? Disney mitts. <laughs> That's adorable. I might grab those. I mean, I think they're just cute. <clears throat> oh, these are candles. I wouldn't have... <laughs> kind of look like a jade piece, but it's a candle. I like these colors. Moscow Mule Mug. Oh, these are, um, they have a logo on them. Well, I didn't really grab anything off of here. You know, I would bet you the same person that painted that other piece probably painted this one too. This is beautiful. Put your little candles in it. Whoever painted, hand painted these did a nice job. Those are nice. Okay.
Hmm. I think we'll go down this last aisle and then we'll probably cut out of here. Baroque gold. Oh, here's some of the longer burger cookie presses. Fisher Price, read with me, spider. Two thousand five, so that's about twenty years old. It's very cute. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I don't know if this will be any good or not. I think I'm gonna grab that, put that one back. King Max. Leather tag. Well, I think I am done here. I stopped and I looked. I don't think I want to look at all the um, clothing racks today, so. All right, so I'm gonna shut you guys off and I'm gonna check my items and then you guys will get to see what I got in a little while. I'll be back. Hi everyone, I wanna do a quick recap of the things I picked up today. I did stop in at the Goodwill today and I got I got a few things. Um, my total spent at the Goodwill today was $90. Uh, nothing was marked up. Uh, so they're still keeping with it, but I did get, uh, some shoes. I did get a pair of, uh, white Vinces. I got the pair of Siesto Mayuchis. Uh, this is a new brand to me, but I can tell they were really nicely made. This is, um, Artipel. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, these are a, a pair of bike. These will, uh, bike like cycling shoes uh, these are made by Pearl Izumi I did get the Patagonia clogs um, so this is a new one for me I did grab the North Face uh, sweatshirt and this is a good brand to keep an eye out you know, this is one of those where you got to check the items, but this is made by Humanoid, and Humanoid is a pretty good selling brand. I did get the Little Kid Keens just because they are in great shape, and the Little Kid Shoes, I believe, are only $2.99. I think, I think they said $2.99, so, you know, for me, that's, that's easy. Um, I did grab the Vilroy and Block, uh, Vilroy and Bach, sorry, uh, Green Bowl. I am truly hoping that it glows in the dark, because that would be fabulous. I did grab the little Disney um, oven mitts. I got a little black fossil. I did grab a little Laura Birch uh, cat pin. I did grab the Christmas story socks. I don't know if these are worth anything or if these are just gonna stay with me, but you know, anything Christmas is always a pretty good bet. And I did grab the Talbot's purse because for $7.99 for a leather Talbot's purse that's in really nice condition, that was a really easy one. So my total spent today was $90. It's time for the fall open house at my favorite store. Let's go take a look. Um, So pretty. Right. Look how pretty these are. They're glasses, but they're kind of a different shape. Those are nice. So this is the fall and the Halloween. Um, it's the middle of August, so this is a, a yearly occurrence. I actually live just up the street, so this is something that I get to do every year. 
It is a little crowded in here, so. Oh, look at all the sunflowers. That's pretty. And they do, they have jewelry here. And I'll show you some of my favorite um, figurines that I, I've bought a few over the years. Um, they're, they're made by um, a woman, I believe it's local here in Virginia. We'll, we'll get to see those in just a couple of minutes. But let's go ahead and oh, look at the look at the turkeys. So we'll go ahead over here. I would like to see the Halloween. I just don't know how close we'll be able to get to all of it today. So. Oh, and look at all the pumpkins. So then let's go this way. Excuse me. Oh, here's the Halloween. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, that witch is fantastic. I love the witches. Look how cute she is. And then we can look at the pumpkins too. Look at all the glass pumpkins. Those are beautiful. We've got all different colors. If you can see down at the bottom and all the way up at the top, beautiful colors. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna head over here. Let's go see some of the figurines and things. So we do, we even have all the fancy ribbons. This is normally a floral shop and a gift shop. So they have a little bit of everything, which reminds me I have a few more things I need to pull out. I need to go and find those items. Look at all of the, the pumpkins. So cute. These are the ones I like. These are these are been made by Lori Mitchell. Aren't they cute? All different kinds. There's Halloween. She makes Christmas ones, and um, there's all oh those. So these are all the Thanksgiving ones. Yeah, I don't have all these. I have a few. And um, I will turn to get the Halloween ones in just a second. Look at the, look at the pilgrims with their funny faces. Um, well, let's head over here. We'll catch the rest of those once it clears out a little. So here we are in the garden room. It's like a, a greenhouse solarium in here. Lots of pretty things to look at. Carl will probably just throw a minute or two of this into one of the videos just so you guys can see. But let's go ahead and look at some more of the Halloween items here. Oh, look at the witch on the turning table. How cool is that? We can look at all the little Halloween figures. Oh, I like the little... I like the little robot one. Those are so cute. So yes, here's the woman that, that makes them. She lives in Richmond, Virginia. But I hope you guys can see that okay. Look at the little Dracula. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm tempted to get myself one this year, but I keep bringing stuff home. Oh, these are so cute. I do have a Frankenstein one. He's one of my favorites. I do have a really cute Frankenstein one. Oh, the little spider boy is cute. They even have a little cat. Look at the little, uh, actually it's a little bird. The little skeleton boy. Sorry, I've always, I've always been fond of these. I actually think I kind of like the little vampire on the on the coffin right here so they're a little they're a little expensive but you know like I said I only get like one a year so 
maybe uh, maybe maybe Carl will come back later and, and let me grab one. This is cute too. I love the little girl with the little ba the little pumpkin baby. That's really cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so now you guys got to see some of the things that I enjoy grabbing. And we have all kinds of candles and stuff. So nice. All right, I guess that's all for today. So we're going to go ahead and head on out. It's crowded. <laughs> they even have like cute food things, but that's it for now.